Hi everyone, this is part two of this. First we were looking at the big bird head and we were checking out this side. We did so pretty extensively, so now we're gonna move this a little bit. I'm gonna show you actually how big this gateway artifact is. It's a huge one. So we can take a look as we turn it of all you know at all the little faces and bird heads and things on every edge. But I kinda wanna get to maybe right here so you can see how the colors are still in there see the markings the big diamond or the face that's pointing up here I have a little bit of sand on it So looking for the shape of a bird, I think we have that right here, perhaps definitely a big bird head here with the recessed beak and the circle eye. See the beak, the face. Um, we're going to have a human image right here. See the eye and the nose and the mouth of just the character right in just this one section. It's going to be ones facing to the left as well, a much smaller one. Really neat. I don't know if we got the right angle. There's usually an angle where you can catch them all kind of forming out. There's gonna be one of those right here where we have a bunch of portraits in a row. Here's a small little tiny one with the eye carving, the nose and the mouth, and then right above it is another one. As we tilt it, you can see we're looking at the interior of the stone here. Just, just this little sliver Interesting, really nice one. There's a lot to see on this. Like I said, it's about a hundred pounds, probably more. It's extremely heavy. Sorry for shaking you guys around on this one. Beautiful mammoth though, on the left-hand side here, we can see the trunk cut out, the head and the eye carving right there. It's beautiful. It's a really good one. That's why these large ones are kind of worth showing you guys because some of the art comes out a little bit better. If you guys watched part one, you definitely can see that. We're gonna have a really neat little couple of faces over here. But of course our main one here, there's our carving for the eye. You see the diamond shape and the little spot right in, right in the middle of it. So that's our eye right there, you can see. And the nose of course, of course poking out there and the rest of this is maybe a headband and the rest of it comes back as hair. You can see a large eye right here. You see the lines coming up for it. There's going to be an eye there. There's going to be a painted in eye below it. That's the eye on the forehead of the character or on the hat. And you can see the way the facial features come out a lot better. You may be seeing different eyes now, maybe an eye higher. Just look at it as if it is a huge head statue because that's what it is. Very interesting here. Uh, let's see if we can move it just a little bit more. Oh, this is the side that we went over in part one. And I wanna show you one more side here. This one, there we go. Okay. So this one I looked at for a minute. I couldn't really figure it out. Hmm. I'm looking for painted in images. But what I think it's going to be is it's going to be a continuation from the right side. So we look at both sides kind of at the same time. And if we're looking at the colors of the, the paint and things, there may be a character in here. There may be, you know, character on character up here. Let's go ahead and take different look at the stone of course it'll look different 
uh, whenever there is no water on it, whenever it's dried up, it'll look much different. So. I know we're going to see some more things on camera, so I appreciate you guys taking the time with me uh, today to look at this one. But looking at it far away like this, I believe I see a whole mammoth. See the eye and the trunk and the legs of the mammoth here. See the hump, of course. So I believe that's what we have there is just a giant mammoth. And looking at that mammoth now that we see that, trying to look in here for figures. I think I see some painted in human images in there in the white facing upward, but I'm not exactly sure. So it's definitely an incredible design when you look at it from afar like that. So that's just one side of this gigantic, huge crystal. All right. I think that's good for now, folks. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.